talks about himself. That is a change of pace. All right, well, I am Rebecca Benito, and in my day job, I am a sex coach and a dominatrix. Yes! That's right, thank you very much. That means you better laugh at my jokes or else. <laughs> I'm also a bit of a sadist, must tell you that, so if my jokes don't fall, if my set is painful for you, good. <laughs> Now, most comics want to get the crowd up on their feet, cheering for them. I want to get you on your knees. <laughs> Preferably staring up at me, adoringly. <laughs> so, if you're going to play with me, the only correct answer is yes, mistress. Can I hear it? Yes, yes mistress. Okay, very good. Now I know where the real subs are in the room. <laughs> I will be stalking you all on field later. All right, so I'm also, you probably noticed, older than most of the other participants, all of the other participants, I would say. Um, they're not in the room, all of them, but if you add it up, like Carla and Alex and Danielle's ages, you would get an orgy that I would really like to be invited to. Thank you. I mean, I don't know why people have this, this belief that older women don't like having sex. We like having sex. We just like don't like having sex with old guys. Um, you know, guys are a little formulaic. They find something that works, and they do it over and over. So when you've been married for 25 years, and he's still doing, like, kiss my neck, feel my boob, two fingers in, and showtime, over and over, it's like, boring. <laughs> really, you guys, you got to get some game. Like, watch an episode of Bridgerton. Um, read a romance novel. This is some serious girl porn right there. That is how you know what women want. Um, so yeah, I am actually, let's see if I were 10 years younger, I'd still be 10 years older than Sarah. And uh, I, uh, I can't get pregnant anymore. Yay, Woo! menopause, right? Now, I, I believe they call it menopause because this is a tender time in a woman's life when she really needs a pause for men. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's like, you think PMS is bad? I hit menopause, and like, once a month, whenever my husband opened up his mouth, I turned into like a Dalek. I was like, exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> yeah, like basically I had two settings, board and the nuclear option. That was it. That was all I had. Um, now, the good thing about being a dom, actually, it's really who I am. My coffee cup says, I'm not bossy, I just have better ideas. And being a pro means I get paid for it. Whereas before, I used to do it for free, and my husband called it nagging. Um, now, something else uh, you have to look forward to, there are still some women in the room, something you have to look forward to in menopause is that like the hair on your legs stops growing. Yeah, I like never have to shave. The hair on my chin, on the other hand, is like, it's like a cornfield in Iowa with stalks raising towards the sun. And like, they're like ninjas, they were visible, and they're strong. And one guy was kissing my neck and he stabbed himself in the eye. But he was a masochist, so it was okay. All right, that's it out of me, I'm Rebecca Benito. Thank you. Rebecca Benito, coming up now is Ice.